Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. Did you know that even though all networking within VMware Cloud on AWS is managed by NSXT, but you don't need NSX on-premises to connect to your STDC? It's true. I'm Jeremiah McGee with VMware, and in this video, I'll discuss the available network connectivity options so you can connect from on-premises to your STDC. All of the networking and security within the STDC are provided by NSXT and managed via the simplified network and security user interface in the STDC console. Within this interface, we can manage STDC network segments, VPN and direct connect configurations, NAT rules, edge and distributed firewall rules, public IP addresses, and more. As you can see from this high-level architecture diagram, we have an edge, which is our T0 router. All connectivity to workloads flows through this edge, and it's configured for active standby to provide high availability. Underneath the edge, we have two gateways. The CGW, or Compute Gateway, handles workload traffic, including network-to-network. -network. And the MGW, or Management Gateway, which handles connectivity to vCenter, NSX, ESXi, and other add-ons. Security is managed by edge and distributed firewalls. There are a few different ways we can establish connectivity between the on-premises environment and the SDDC. The most basic option is to simply allow access to vCenter over the public internet. While this does bring some inherent risk, you can choose to only allow specific addresses by creating firewall rules within the management gateway. Note that by default, we deny all incoming traffic. This might be ideal for testing with a single node or a proof of concept. The most popular option is to use a VPN, and there's two VPN options available. The first option is a route-based VPN, where you'll configure a BGP session from on-premises and terminate it on the NSX Edge router in the SDDC. The second option is a policy-based VPN for customers who aren't running BGP. While customers typically start off with a VPN for initial connectivity, more and more customers are transitioning to AWS Direct Connect. This provides a high-speed, low-latency connection into your SDDC with a variety of bandwidth options available from AWS and partners. There's also an option to use a route-based VPN as a backup connection in the event that your Direct Connect experience is some sort of failure. As you can see, there are several connectivity options available to you for connecting into your SDDC. Choose the one that best fits your use case. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.